everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another explore. This week we travelled down the road from our hometown and towards the remains of Boxgrove Priory. Standing at the end of a gravel path in a stunning setting in the small quiet town of Boxgrove and at the foot of the South Downs, join us as we wander an abandoned Priors lodging house and a beautiful parish church full of stained glass and incredible architecture. Finding the Priory itself isn't easy as normal with English heritage sites. Only part of this site is maintained by them, so the typical brown signage that is dotted before the sites aren't actually there. Instead, follow the white signs for Boxgrove and Priory. The first building you come across is the isolated, ruined shell of the guest house. This roofless building is still impressive to look at, and it stands at two storeys high. The guest house was founded in the early 12th century, making it almost a thousand years old. And these ruins have stood the test of time and their stunning details, despite being abandoned for almost five centuries. Interestingly, the remains of the original priory building aren't to be seen, only places where the priory buildings were pulled down. You might be able to see straggling bits of columns and stray arches that were meant for support to a much larger building. But what remains now is only a part of the Priory, which now lives on as the parish church of Boxgrove. An incredible historical discovery is said to have been founded here though, discovered in 1993 by an archaeologist, Mark Roberts. 500,000 year old human remains were found and excavated. These remains were dubbed Boxgrove Man, an extinct relative of modern day human. Although only two teeth and two pieces of a shin bone were found, it's still thought to be the oldest human fossil that was discovered in the country. Not something that you'd expect from a small town near Chichester. Inside this guest house, eight priests, 28 servants and eight children lived in the Priory. But the Priory was where the Prior would have actually entertained his guests and a shelter and a home for those travelling who needed a lodging to stay in. The architecture here is still clear in its remains and the detail in the windows and archways are interesting to see and take in. As we make our way into the church to explore more next door, there was actually a church here at the time of the Doomsday Book. This was destroyed to make way for the Priory, which was established by monks in Normandy. 
and when the Priory was disbanded in the Reformation, part of the Priory Church lived on as the parish church. One particular and touching memorial is that of a hero named Billy Fisk, who was born in Chicago in 1911 and sadly killed in action in 1940 while stationed at Tangmere Aerodrome during the Battle of Britain. He flew with the 601 Squadron and was one of the first American servicemen to die in World War II. And he is buried in the southeast part of the churchyard, which you're able to visit. He is commemorated on a beautiful stained glass window on the southern wall of the church. This lovely memorial was installed in 2008, displaying a Hawker hurricane along with stars and stripes. Walking in, the interior certainly is wonderful, with a mix of late Tudor, Norman and Victorian restoration. You can see that all of its different styles are beautifully looked after and it's just such a stunning place to enjoy. At the west end of the nave is a labyrinth, picked out in colour stone on the floor. This was a spiritual tool for worshippers and after the labyrinth, the first thing you'll probably notice is the height of the nave and the incredible painted Tudor roof. The painted roof was installed just before the Reformation at the orders of Thomas West, who was the ninth Lord de la Loire. His memorial stands on the south side of the chancel. The memorial is an extraordinary piece of Tudor architecture with some of the finest 16th century carvings seen anywhere in Britain. Thomas West commissioned a local artist Lambert Bernard, to paint the ceiling of the nave with the arms and badges of his own and his wife's families that are intertwined with flowers and foliage. This is quite unusual, but so lovely to see in person. I really enjoyed looking around here and exploring the many different decorative carvings of his coat of arms, the angels and the Tudor roses. It's a mixture again of Gothic style with a Renaissance carving and worth a trip inside to see this alone. The church has done a fantastic job looking after the Priory and relies heavily on donations for the upkeep of this stunning place. One of my favourite things to see though was the variety of stained glass windows that depict many different religious stories and people. Of course the church is used regularly for mass and weddings but there is an element here, religious or not, where you're able to switch off from the world and enjoy the peace and quiet and appreciate all of the work that has gone into looking after and maintaining the church. So we hope we've shared with you some of the highlights at Boxgrove Priory. This place is rather special and a real gem in West Sussex. Stick around till the end to see a different perspective of the Priory and its surroundings. We think you'll love it. As usual, if you've enjoyed watching, please be sure to hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel or to our Patreon and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We want to say a big thank you to our Patreons and a big thank you to all of those choosing to watch the video. We'll see you next week. Till next time.